why am i always thinking of the society why am i always thinking of the society acharya prasan says that we give consideration to society because whatever we are doing is usually for the sake of society even in our personal action we include the society yes what you call as your personal action the horrible fact is that even they are social action we may think that when we are alone in our house let's say in the kitchen or in the study room then whatever we are doing is there is a personal action but it is not a personal action at all because it is still being detected by the society for example there is a student who is in a study room preparing for an engineering entrance examination but she is preparing just because of social pressure now is this preparation is the moment of preparation when she is alone in her study is this a personal action or social action it is a social action it is still a social action even though the society does not appear to be present the society is physically not present but it is very much present there where in this mind so even when when we are doing something very personal we are still guided by the society so marriage you would say is something totally personal marriage and love are both called as personal but we are not guided by the society in all these matters so are our marriage personal is our love personal no it is totally social society religion class all these things are guiding even our most private and intimate matters and when our matters are all social it is but obvious that we will have to care for the society you look at all these matrimonial portals people who want to marry put their profile there when you put your profile and fill the profile form it has section for your religions for your caste for your gotra it asks how much salary do you expect from your would be spouse what height what kind of complexion whether he should be living in a joint family or a nuclear family now are all these things not social did you decide your religion religion is totally social thing which is handed over to you by the society and now you allow religion to come in the way of your love is love then social or personal you are saying i will marry a boy of my gotra now you did not decide your gotra did you so you are marrying the boy or is the gotra marrying the boy so are you marrying the boy or is the gotra marrying the boy obviously one gotra is marrying the other gotra so where is any personal thing in this it is all social you are not present in this it is a crowd society has taught us what kind of features to look for in people now because of years of colonization in fact decades of colonization in india you have a great emphasis on fair skin there are all these company that all uh, that sell fairness product in india and believe in me they cannot easily do in any other country of the world no country of the world is so mentally enslaved about complexion that you can sell a fairness cream and people would also buy it elsewhere people will say it is fine that i am dark being dark is all right but you go on the date and you meet a boy who has very fair skin you would choose him but it is not you who has been who had chosen him it is the society that had chosen him for you so it is not actually you, you who is dating him an entire crowd is dating the boy it may appear that two persons are meeting but the two persons are not meeting to crowds are meeting so where are you in all this what we call as ourselves is nothing but a crowd mother father relatives and entire world even when you say that i am doing something personal the entire crowd is present we are afraid of the society because we are not at all at all ourselves we are just the society what we need to ask is that is there anything that i am doing which is coming from my own free will is there anything that is arising out of an out of understanding actions thoughts beliefs which i consider as normal are they really normal or are they just conditioned 
you generally say it is very normal to behave this way what is normal just because everybody is acting foolishly foolishness becomes the norm so what is so good about being norm remember j krishna murthy says that it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society but we are all very social and we take pride in that we are so well adjusted have you not seen people who say i am a very social man he is actually saying i am very sick man and i am proud about it he is actually saying i am a very sick man when you will do something which is not social at all believe me in that moment you will not be afraid of the society whenever you will find something which is not social which is not corrupted which is entirely yours in that moment there will be no fear in that moment you will be the most fearless person even the thoughts of others will not come to your mind thoughts of other comes into our mind because the very action is not is for you others influenced by other and for the sake of other so don't be puzzled when you find that you are afraid of the society all the time it is obvious that it would happen a slave will all the time be afraid of the master till the time you are a slave you are bound to be afraid and in the moment when you are not a slave you will not even ask this question because when there is no fear then there is no question to ask